Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this universal bait tray out of a 110mm roller um, tray. So it's got a lid, lid clips on it and then you can see on the side you've got a bracket that's adjustable to attach it to whatever you want. Also got a little holder on the side there for your baiting needle. So here we go, let me show you what you need and how to make this. Right, so let's get started. To build this universal bait tray, you're gonna need a 110 mil roller paint tray. Um, these are around about two pound from the DIY store. You're also gonna need a 110 mil roller tray lid. And these are around about one pound 50 from the DIY store. A section of 21mm Floplast plastic piping or um, any plastic piping that is around about the 20mm to 22mm range. And the length um, is entirely up to you, but I'll explain that in a minute when I start putting together the bait tray. And this is also around about £2 for 2 metre or 25 metre length. Two Floplast pipe clips. These are about one pound eighty a pack of four. Three M5, approximately forty to fifty mil long bolts. Five M5 nuts and four washers. Last and by no means least, one of the most important parts is this bike light or torch mount um, adjustable so the top swivels like that and the bottom bit can clamp and be tightened um, you must you really do need this swivel part to make this sort of work for everything um, these are around about three pound fifty off of ebay if you search for a bike torch mount hundreds of these come up um, mainly from china so you'd have to wait a couple of weeks or so for shipping but um worth it to save the money and then a bit of black electrical tape just to neaten it off here's one of the optional extras um, this is a connecting piece for the flow pass system i had this anyway um, you don't need this you can work with tape and there's also going to be some optional extras in the video so please uh, stay tuned to see what else and other additions you may require and then the tools you need, quite simple. You're going to need a drill with a 5mm drill bit. And you're going to need a pen to do some marking. And there we have it. We are ready to build our bait tray. So when I was just listing the, the equipment that you need, the parts that you need to build this, um, I mentioned about the length of the flow, flow pass pipe, pipe. So basically... Um, if you've got a tray that has got a full side all the way along, you can get a length of pipe that runs the whole length of the tray. Now, I haven't. Mine starts to gradually disappear here, my side. So I've got one that runs just over half, and I'm not going to use all that half. I'll show you that in a minute. What I'm firstly going to do with this is I'm going to do a nice tape band of electrical tape, about five wraps thick on each end there we have it the bit of piping here it's got tape on either end now next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put the clips the two clips that i've got on this pipe and hopefully i can butt them up there to the end now once i've got these clips on i'm going to make sure they are pretty much the same at the same angle which they look like they are there and then with the drill I'm gonna drill through straight down through these clips which will need widening because these clips are only four mil for the first part and then they are five mil at the base so I'm just drilling out the clips and then I'm going to drill through the pipe, like so, and then out the other side. It's 
one done. Then we're going to do the other one. So just drilling that out. And we go through the pipe out the other side. There we go. Now this is going to get mounted on the side, and as you can see, I've already drilled two holes, um, so I know that this matches up because I've uh, checked that already. So that is going to be my mount onto there to allow this to be clipped to other implements. Now, what I've done on this mount, as you can see, is I've drilled a hole, 5 mil hole again, which is the same size as the bolt. That's why it's 5 mil. So 5 mil through here to get these bolts through. And this is 5 mil for the third bolt, which is going to be like a locking bolt. So I've gone through the centre at the top of the arc. So it's going to be in the centre of this pipe. Now, because this is quite smooth on the inside here, when I clamp it onto this pipe, it slides. So this will slide under pressure if I want it at a certain angle. So this hole is going to allow me to drill holes through this pipe and put a bolt through to hold it in place. But I want holes at different angles. So I'm going to start at this end here and I'm going to come off it basically straight there, like so. And I'm going to mark a dot in there on the pipe. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right to this end I'm going to go all the way down to 90 degrees, mark a hole there. So I've got a hole at the top of that end, hole at the bottom there. Come into the middle, and I'm going to do one at approximately 45 degrees, like so. There we go. I'm going to take that clamp off. And you see I've got dot there, dot there, dot there. Now in between that still, I'm going to do another dot joining the lines up. So I've got another dot there, another dot there. So I'm basically going to be drilling five dots, all different angles, which will allow me to clamp this into different angles once I mount it. So let's get those drilled straight through. You want to go straight through. So this one's at the top, you shoot straight through to the bottom. This one's slightly at an angle, you go straight through to the other side, so on and so forth. So let's get that done. All right, so there you have it. Five holes drilled, all at different angles. This will allow me to mount this at lots of different angles um, without the uh, risk of it slipping. So the next thing to do, we're going to start bolting this onto the tray. So I'm going to take one of the bolts, we're going to thread on a washer, we're going to go through the front end of this, straight out the back, do the same with the second, get a washer on there, thread it straight through there, and out the back, like so. And then they should go straight through the holes, like so, on the side. And then on the inside, we want to put a washer, like so. And then just hand tight, put a nut on this one. Should be able to get that pretty good tight tightness on. On your, with your hand, do the same with this one. And then to lock it in place, we're going to put a second one on. Like so. That's not going anywhere. Like so. So there we have it. You've got your mounting bracket on the side of the tray. Now, this can be clipped on. Clip it on. And if you want to 
mount that to a pole that's straight up. You can use the third bolt, which drop that through out the other side. Wouldn't help. Yep, there you go. Out the other side. That only needs to be roughly on. You could get a wing nut. I don't know if they do M5 wing nuts, but uh, there we are. And then that can be clamped onto whatever. And you've got a bait tray. There's your lid for the bait tray. Now we're going to have to do a little bit on the tripod because I use this on a tripod. So let me show you what we're going to do on a tripod and show you how to mount it. So here we have my tripod and I'm going to do a slight alteration to this to allow the bait tray to attach to it. Now the issue I have with it at the moment is that this clamp on here doesn't clamp tight enough to these poles because they are a little bit too small in diameter. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I've got a flow past uh, coupler, it's a joining piece which is thicker than the the flow pass itself which you can see that goes in there and clamps tight so I'm going to take a leg off now quite simply just one screw on the side and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach that very simple DIY job and uh, then that will allow us to attach that so I've now detached one of the legs the leg that I would predominantly uh, attach the bait tray to and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a rim of black electrical tape on here um, as a stop so I'm going to work out where I want it I'm probably going to go I don't know probably about a foot and a bit down so about there I'm going to do a rim of electrical tape I'm going to do that now so you can see I've put a rim on there of electrical tape and this now does not slide past that um, and it's just a bit too wide for it to go over there's a bit of play but it doesn't go over that so next to it I'm going to do another arbor of black electrical tape that's slightly thinner that was about 20 wraps I'm going to start with 10 and see if this then slides over it tight and then it should hold it in place nice and tight and allow me to clamp onto that so let's do the second wrap of electrical tape so there we have we have the original arbor at the base on the right hand side which is thicker than the one on the left and that one on the left is just allowing this to slide over it so I'm going to need a fair bit of pressure, but I'm going to twist that on so it's tight onto there. There we have it. That is tight. It's not going to move anywhere. And that is basically my anchor point for the bait tray on the tripod. So let's put the tripod back together and show you the tray in position. Right, and there we have it. The uh, bait tray is attached onto the tripod there we are it's in the top hole there very nicely done this will allow it to be uh, adjusted if you're attaching it to anything else with them holes as you can see now what i am going to do i'm going to uh, upgrade this because it's a little bit worn um there is grip on it but if i put quite a bit of pressure if i put pressure on it, it will move so i'm going to upgrade that get another one and um, what i have done at this end as well to allow my baiting needle to stick in I've just pushed a piece of high density foam which is just off a sole of a of a flip flop that you can get from Primark for like £1.30 just cut a wedge of it out and I've put it in there so I've always got my baiting needle there you can always if you want to hang rigs off it you can put some clips in through here through some holes hang your rigs off it and this just keeps the worms dry in there very handy very useful and then also you can uh, with one of these double mount brackets you can then mount it onto anything else so what I am going to do as you can see there I've just got another clip and I've got a little bit of pipe in there and I've put another um, joining section coupler on the top and I'm going to drill through that and on the back end of this um, rod sand spike that I use quite often I'm going to just put that in place there and when that's in the ground I can then put it on that as well so I can have my bait with me there as well so it's very versatile if you wanted to put it on side of a seat box you can do that as well 
you would just have to put a bar like this with two screws on the side of the seat box and then you can just connect it onto the side of the seat box so very useful um, and actually more practical than the ones you can get it's got a lid on it so um, there we are little DIY project hope this has helped if you like these videos and you're enjoying the channel and the fishing trips that I do please subscribe please comment I like to get back to everyone that comments and uh, glad you've enjoyed tight lines everyone